right, it's the age-old question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, if you believe scientists in the US, billions of chickens might soon be unemployed and will all be eating eggs which come from plants. And as Helen Wellings reports, that's just the beginning. Instead of a couple of golden, freshly laid eggs for breakfast, imagine this concoction cooked up instead. And in your mayonnaise, cakes and biscuits, tasting just like real eggs. The vast majority of people wouldn't be able to tell the difference. This is the new artificial egg. Yes, a white powder, launched in American supermarkets today. Available in Australia in January and worldwide and maybe replacing real eggs. It's the plant egg, made from a special blend of 11 easy-to-grow vegetables, including peas and beans. It's been nowhere near a chicken, egg farm or any animal. We take the egg out of the equation, um, and this entire thing of mayonnaise doesn't have any cholesterol and is a little bit more affordable. The plant egg goes under the name Beyond Eggs, founded by Josh Tetrick. And these cookies bake up just like you would if you used regular eggs in them, uh, except the only difference is they actually don't have cholesterol. And again, it all comes from one of our, uh, our amazing plants, this time the, the sorghum. The innovation is backed by the US's most prominent billionaires, Microsoft's Bill Gates and PayPal's Peter Thiel. Leading environmentalists and scientists say the plant egg is what our populations should be eating. But why substitute an artificial product for the real thing? Only 25% of the weight of a live chicken is consumable meat. So you are keeping alive an animal that much of it doesn't have much to do with what consumers actually eat. To be able to take from the field a much higher percentage of what's being produced will give us a lot more room in terms of how many people we can feed. Less land, you'd use less water, you wouldn't have to cultivate biological systems like animals, and you could deliver the, the same experience. Why wouldn't you do it? 51% of climate change emissions can be attributed to livestock. All of the plant-based materials that are in the universe are open to us to use. Like real-life mimicking art... The supply of soil and green has been exhausted. In the 1973 science fiction film Soil and Green, about depleting resources and poverty, humans are converted into processed food and served up mulched to the masses. Silent Green is people! Finding a way to deal with the issue of food scarcity in a way that gives people the nutrition that they need is a core part of our mission. But the artificial egg is bound to attract strong criticism from farmers and supermarkets who see the plant variety as heavily dependent on land, equipment and resources. Josh Tetrick is now in deep talks with major food manufacturers globally, aiming to remove chicken eggs in supermarkets with the plant egg. What next? This new approach to making eggs will fundamentally transform how we think about food. 